Hi, how are you? Can you believe it's October next week? I can't. I don't know where this year's gone. Anyway, this week let's talk about Brie. That's a kind of a romantic drama and it's screening on Saturday night at 8.30pm. It's a story of Robin Cavendish and he's played by Andrew Garfield. And at the age of 28 he contracts polio while living in Africa and he's only given months to live. But with the aid of his dedicated wife, played by Claire Foy, her twin brothers, both played by Tim Hollander, and an inventor friend, played by Hugh Bonneville, Robin survives longer than anybody expects and lives a life actually unthought of for somebody who is on a ventilator 24-7. It's a really lovely flick. It's directed by Andy Serkis. It captures the seriousness and the difficulties of Cavendish's situation, um, how people with disabilities had no rights. This is a period flick. But it's also wonderfully uplifting, witty and warm. And let's just put it this way, tissues will be required. You have been warned. Now, ask the sex bird. This sounds quite saucy, doesn't it? It's screening on Thursday night at 8.30pm and it's a documentary about a sex columnist from Mumbai newspaper. It is a very popular column that deals with a range of questions that quite frankly I don't think you and I would need to ask or dream of asking. And these questions are an indication of the misinformation about sex in India. So the sex pert answers these questions without judgement in a very sensible, factual and often humorous way. And people might not admit to reading his column, but they do. And a lot of them write in. <laughs> what is really adorable, though, about this sex bird is that he is 89 years old. Or he was at the time of filming. I think he's about 92 years old now. And still going strong. So Dr. Watson is a retired gynaecologist. And he's dedicated his life to promoting sex education in India. And encouraging nurturing and respectful and fulfilling relationships. He is just divine and a wonderful subject for filmmaker Vaishali Sinha to base her film around that also explores the wider question of sex education in India. I had the pleasure of talking to Vaishali. You can catch my podcast and have a listen to that interview. In the meantime, have a good week. See you next week. Bye.